Hello students, do you ever get confused about the difference between the TMJ disc displacement and dislocation? Or do you get confused about when to diagnose the condition as with reduction and when to diagnose it as without reduction? If yes, let me explain the difference between them for you in this video. To understand this, first let's understand the basic anatomy of TMJ. The articular disc is anteriorly attached to the lateral pterygoid and posteriorly it is attached to the retrodiscal lamina. Usually, the condyle is always placed in the center part of the articular disc and whenever patient tries to open and the condyle translates anteriorly, it stays in connection with the central part of the articular disc and it moves, the articular disc moves along with the condyle anteriorly. The posterior part, the retrodiscal lamina is elastic and it comes along with the disc and whenever patient closes, the disc will again go back as per the elasticity of this retrodiscal lamina. Now due to trauma or whatever reason, this, retro, this retrodiscal lamina can lose its elasticity. When, it's, when it loses its elasticity, it becomes elongated. And when it becomes elongated, the disc which is being pulled anteriorly by the lateral derigoid plate will be pulled anteriorly and even at the rest, now the condyle will rest on the posterior part of the articular disc. In this case, whenever the patient tries to open the mouth, the condyle will go anteriorly, so does the articular disc and the condyle will translate from the posterior part to the center and then it will come to the center. Now when it goes from the posterior part of the disc to the center, you can hear a clicking sound. This is opening click and when the patient tries to close the mouth, again as we know this retrodiscal lamina has lost its elasticity now. So when it is going back, it will go back to the posterior part from the center to the posterior part. So even by closing, you can hear the closing click as well. So here you will hear the opening as well as closing click. Now, this condition when the condyle is placed on the posterior part of the disc, it is known as disc displacement. Let's say this retrodiscal lamina which has lost its, its elasticity, it becomes more loose. When it becomes more loose, now the condyle will rest directly on the retrodiscal lamina with no contact on the posterior part of the articular disc as well. This condition is known as disc dislocation. Remember this is different than the disc displacement. In disc displacement, the, the condyle was resting on the posterior part. In the disc dislocation, the condyle is resting on the retrodiscal lamina. Now in this condition, when patient tries to open the mouth, there are two scenarios. In the first scenario, from the retrodiscal lamina, the condyle will go to the central portion. This is known as this dislocation with reduction. With reduction means the condyle is able to go back to its central portion. Okay. So here while opening also you'll hear a click and while closing when it goes back to the retrodiscal lamina area, there also you'll hear a click that is opening and closing click. And there is another scenario where the condyle is locked posterior to this articular disc and it is not able to translate to the central portion. Okay. This is known as disc look dislocation without reduction. This is also known as closed jaw. Right. Here the patient is not able to open the mouth fully because of this block over here. Okay. These are the types of disc displacement and disc dislocation.